New York Knicks were home at Madison Square Garden as they faced the Miami Heat for Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. After losing Game 1 at home, New York needed to come correct to win Game 2. Jalen Brunson was back, Julius Randle was back, but Jimmy Butler was out. So New York came into this game with the advantage as they were fully healthy. But this game was still going to be tough. And we saw that in the first quarter. Randall and RJ Barrett were cooking, but the Heat were knocking down their threes to stay in this game. And things started to go south in the second quarter as, My as Miami were starting to knock down all of their shots because the Knicks were playing porous defense. But all was not lost because Jalen Brunson would wake up and start the third quarter hot. Jalen Brunson would get the Knicks 13 points giving this team momentum to go into the fourth quarter, along with some tough shots made by Julius Randle. New York would fully come alive with a roaring garden to put Miami away in the fourth, thanks to a total 23 points in the second half by one Captain Clutch. Also, we got to shout out Isaiah Hartenstein for his solid hustle, Josh Hart for his clutch three-point shooting, and Julius Randle for his free throws and his strong rebounding. But of course, you know, the Knicks couldn't just easily win this game. Of course, you had Randall stepping on uh, the inbounds line to, to turn the ball over. And you had some shooting that, eh, a, you know, you just from Miami. But regardless, the Knicks would end up winning 111 to 105 to tie the series at one apiece. I oh, man, bro. I can't. Uh, the roller coaster of this game. You know, the roller coaster of the news, getting the news that Randall was coming back tonight. Even Jalen Brunson was on the injury report, getting the news that he was going to play, even though a lot of people didn't doubt that he was going to play. And then getting the late, you know, the breaking news that Jimmy Butler was out, giving some added confidence. But the Nick fan base is too smart, man. The Nick fan base is too savvy. You know, once the news started to come out, that Jimmy Butler was out. I got people DMing me, people tweeting me, JD, we can't take them lightly, man. We can't, we can't fall for this. And boy, was the Nick fan correct because look what happened. You know, um, the game was a roller coaster. For most of the game, it's so strange because statistically, we kind of dominated the, the, the stats. And yet, it did not feel like what the stats are telling you. It's funny that the first game we dominated stats and we lost. The second game we dominated stats again and we won, but it just didn't feel like it. And I, and I even look at the score and I'm like, what? We scored 111 points? It didn't, didn't even feel like it. The way the, the Heat were playing zone on us, the way we looked lost on possession, the way some of the players were struggling. Horrendous. A lot of tonight did not feel like the results on both ends, on the good side and on the bad side. What a night, what a game, what a finish. There's some good, there's a lot of bad, but there's some critical good. JD, th this team needs the three days right now, not only for the health of some of the players, because you saw Brunson re-aggravate that ankle, right? Um, also, you want to make sure Julius is healthy as well. Even Grimes, man, I'm just curious with Quinton Grimes, and we could talk about that later because I'm looking for him to get back in the starting rotation. And watching just him being a little reluctant to shoot, I'm questioning how healthy his shoulder is, but he's still needed. As you saw tonight, the way that he's able to get skinny around the screens to stay with Gabe Vincent, who was just torching the Knicks this entire night, two games in a row, Gabe Vincent is, is, is helping the Miami Heat. You know, thank God for Grimes because he was surely needed. But the Knicks need these three days off because, as you said, win's a win. I'll take it, man. The series is tied 1-1, okay? You can gather yourselves. You can go down to Miami, be that good road team that we've watched all season long. But there's a lot of stuff that needs to get fixed. There's a lot of stuff that needs to get fixed, especially that defense. I don't know why. How many times do we have to watch an open three-point shooter? You know, I, I talked about this with Brady uh, on on uh, the, the preview last night. And I said, and I've been saying this, man, like, the Knicks' three-point defense has been up and down this entire season. You know that. CP knows that. The fan base knows that. And we just see it tonight, man. No Jimmy Butler, but this, the, the Miami Heat are just swinging the ball around like nobody's business. 
You're seeing Max Struess just drive down the lane because we got to guard Gabe Vincent, Duncan Robinson, and everybody else from three. And now it's like, what's happening? A team that has showed life defensively in round one against Cleveland is having a hard time with the supporting cast from Miami. And I know, like, once again, a win is a win. But if if you're if you're watching this team, if you're the coaching staff, you're going back to the to that locker room. You're going back to the tapes and be like, we have to be better because Jimmy's going to come back, right? I expect him to be back for game three, and it's just not going to be any different. It's just you, man. Yeah, that was, started that was one off of your tonight. thoughts. We, we already gave man, our thoughts. What are your thoughts? I was sitting in that building livid for three quarters, man. I was so tight. I was so angry. You didn't and, take your blood pressure medication with you? No, I I didn't. I, I, I didn't take that medicine. I didn't take that medicine. When I got to the car, I was good. But I'm <laughs> telling you, man, because because Al, you know, we had um what what's my guy's name from from five sports? Heat? Brady. Brady, good kid, 19 years old, very smart, man. He gave us a game plan. He did. He told us everything yesterday. He <laughs> told us everything. And shout out to everybody that comes through for the Game of the Week preview. Shout out to everybody that comes through for play-by-play. -play. This is it on Knicks Fan TV, number one show for the fans by the fans. Brady gave us the whole game plan. He really he said, did, man. He said, without Jimmy, they're going to hoist up threes. They're going to be running new off of screens. And defensively, they're going to be running a ton of zone. And what do we see out there tonight? They're hoisting up threes. They're running us raggedy off the of screens. And they threw us in a zone. And for three quarters, the Knicks were flummoxed. They had no answer, man. And I was just so frustrated um, with, because I just felt like that he came out loose. They played fast. They were a step ahead of the Knicks for a lot of this game. And I just thought the Knicks were tight. You know, RJ came out. It once again had a strong start. Had a strong start to this game. Um, Brunson, it took him a while to get going. You didn't know if the ankle was bothering him. He fell hard on the ankle, off of the ankle in, in the second quarter. So he seems to be a bit banged up. But thankfully, the return of Julius Randle galvanized his team and came at the right moment. And hopefully after tonight, we can finally put the, we're better without him. We can win this without him. Not Oh, boy. Thank you. Nonsense. Oh, man. Nonsense. The Knicks, they gutted it out. They figured out a way to win. That's the most important thing. I said last uh, last time I called in, I don't care if they win by one. I don't care if they win by 20. They just have to figure out a way to win this game. And they managed to do it. The couple of things here is that, like, I was losing my mind watching them trying to attack this 2-3 zone. I'm like you have a big man who could pass the ball, like bring in Hartenstein, put him free throw line extended, get him into the heart of the zone yeah. and get these guys rotating. Cause you're looking at this Miami heat team and like the guys that they have out there right now, they're playing good de team defense, but none of them are good individual defenders. Get these guys going side to side, Absolutely. get them off balance, attack them. You know what I mean? And even when Jimmy comes back, they got to go after him too. Cause like you have to attack that ankle, see what he's made of. Right. And even the finally, at the end of the day, it was like Josh Hart attacking from the baseline and then playing patient and getting the ball to open shooters that changed the game. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, is like give give flowers to this front office mm -hmm. because every single player that they signed made a huge impact in this game. Right. They had the confidence in Julius to sign him to an extension. Damn near a triple double. Josh Hart, damn near a triple double. Mm -hmm. Listen. I'm telling you right now, I'm not worried about my, listen, the Knicks are five and one with Julius Randle in this game. And first of all, all the Julius Randle haters, time to get out your apology forms. I don't want to hear anything, any Julius uh, Randle slander anymore. We cannot win, make deep runs into the playoffs without Julius. It's a fact. You want that marquee play? I bought it marquee, so let's kill the assumption. Little Rick, you know, that's Jalen Brunson. They try to tell me I'm too small for the city. The tiny ultra ball with braids. That's right, I'm on my gritty. I'm making sure I bring the point guards back. You see the gun stay back. Told Luke I ain't coming back. He here to stay. Salute, salute, salute. Three capital S's. Blessings, health, and happiness to everybody. And one of them S's is for Saturday. It's coming up this weekend. That's right. We heading back. to the, We're going to Miami. That's our Whoa. second home away from the Terra Dome. Go. We're going over there to handle our business. Get this thing right back on the track. Back in the days, they used to play two out of three. Then it was three out of five. And then it was four out of seven. Now we don't narrow this thing down. I believe I, I believe in our roster. Go ahead and take 
take three out of the next five so we can handle our business. I'm already purchasing Eastern Conference um, Championship, man. Mm. I don't know what y'all doing. Yeah, because Miami ain't beat us yet. All we did was beat ourselves in, in game one. Mm. And then we stagnated against ourselves in game two. If we handle our business and do what we got to do, this serious is not even cool, coach. Shout out mm. to everybody that's all up in the building. We ain't got a bunch of superstars. We just, this is a big family home. That's what, all them people coming back home. Gerald Wilkins, I saw him in Atlanta. I told you, you need to get back to the city, dude. We miss you. And he was in the building, man. The red carpet is being rolled out, man. This is where everybody want to be at. Everybody want to be in New York City. And the longer we in the playoffs, the longer the city going to stay packed. And this is what I'm wishing I'm praying for. You know what I'm saying? Come 50, come 50 years. May 10th, May 10th, 1973. Come 50 years. We knocked off the Lakers. Oh, yeah, I already got a track ready for, ready for May 10th, 1973. Mm. But what is, imagine if the Knicks and the Lakers played. Imagine if the Knicks and the Lakers played for that championship again. <laughs> Clyde, can, Clyde can make a lot of history. Yeah, I ain't only true. beat the Lakers in the championship. I could call the game to beat the Lakers for the championship right now. But well, first thing we got to do is handle our business with Miami. Stop beating ourselves, you know what I'm saying? We haven't practiced this week. Everything we practice, I'm five players on defense, and we're playing against six guys on offense. That's right. We got to learn how to move our feet, so we need to start practicing against one more man, so that way we can close out on dudes, because that's all they're doing is doing the extra pass and, and beating us to the shot. That's all they're doing. But if we shut down some of the plays on defense, I ain't even worried about scoring. See, a lot of people look for us to have runs on offense, but sometimes you got to have runs on defense. You shut down people on defense, that's only going to bring more shots. The more shots you get, the more attempts you get to get a bucket. So, you know, so everybody be easy. We did what we needed to do. I want the next three out of five, even the next two out of three, whatever it takes to get back to make the series tied up, if not 3-1 our way when we get back, you get back to the crib on the 10th, on the 10th, the 50th year anniversary. Man, Everybody be easy, man. The Knicks is in a great spot. Way to come back and handle your business, Julian. Stop saying we don't need this guy. We need you. We need everybody on the same page. Everybody on this from all the way from James Dolan all the way down to the last man on the G League. Everybody is counted for and need to be a part of this team. Everybody stay ready to go. And all the fans stay ready to go. Keep believing and having faith. Do, 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 do not never distrust the team, man. Couldn't close it any better. That was another classic Blows by Jay Boogie, man. Throw some fives in the chat. Throw some fire emojis in the chat. The closer came through and brought down the house. And we'll see you Saturday. KFTVPlayoffs.com. Get your tickets now because it's going to be a great one once again. So with that being said, Al, great show, my man. I'll catch up with you on the next preview. We'll either do it Thursday or Friday. Stay tuned. And looking forward to that one, man. Great job, as always. We'll see you guys, man. We out of here. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys one more time.